What is the fashion trends of 2024 for shoes and accessories? Well, I have the top four for you, so let's get into it. So for fall 2024, shoe and accessory trends are focusing on a blend of comfort and bold statement. Here's a look of what's trending, my top four. Number one, we have like four variations of shoes. Number one, slouchy boots and foldover boots. Slouchy boots are going to be a knee high boot to an ankle boot that's going to have extra fabric on them. And you can wear them with jeans and skirts. It's going to be more of an effortless, comfortable look, just kind of a relaxed look. So in the years prior, we always wore boots tucked into skinny jeans and we wanted that that sleek look with no wrinkles here. It's more about the baggy straight leg and it's going to kind of bunch up a little bit. That's kind of the look that we're going for in 2024. Also the fold over boot. I bought a pair last year. They're super nice. They're Mark Fisher. They're tacked in. You can't bring them up or anything like that. But I took these out of box and walked walk like seven hours um, on a girl trip. Really like these. So basically you're going to have your jean up here kind of, baggy a little bit through here. You're not going to be worried about it being skin tight. If you want that look, if you don't, you wear your skinny jeans. That's how you're going to wear those. They're kind of uninspected. They're traditional black boot with unexpected with this fold over look. You're also going to see it in a Western inspired to as well. Cowboy boot is just going to have a modern twist. It's going to be in metallics. It's going to have embroidery, unexpected colors. So there are several. I like a pair. Anthro has a great pair of Western boots. Um, they're kind of a cream color. I think they go with everything. Now, how I'm seeing it kind of paired is with just some jeans and a blazer. Um, with these tan boots or just like a Lucchese or any kind of just regular cowboy boot type thing. I'm seeing it with the t-shirt and a blazer just kind of look. I'm also seeing it with lots of dresses. I would say dresses are a big thing or skirts or blue jean type dresses, mini dresses. I think boots kind of go with everything and they're kind of the cowboy boot with like a paired with a dress is kind of unexpected. And I like that. Nordstrom Rack has a great Western inspired boot. Just the cut of the boot is giving you Western inspired. They got several colors, $59. They got a cool blue kind of suede like that's really, or actually it's a blue jean, dark denim is really cool. Um, pretty affordable. If you don't want a knee high, they have a Dolce Vita that is just came out this year. That is gorgeous. Has a brown suede with like, it's like an ankle boot type thing. It's a little, it's a little taller than the ankle. I would call it more of a shin. Also, if you're looking more for a more affordable one, there was one at Target. I thought the faux leather looked pretty good. It's like around 30, $35 or under $40. Um, it looks really good. Now I'm seeing these shorter ankle boots paired with shorter skirts and dresses. I really like that look. I think it looked very chic. I saw some Dolce, I think they were Dolce Vita. They were a black and white one, really cool, different, but those are under $40. The next shoe trend is that's really big, kind of started in the spring. That looks really nice. I absolutely love it. And I haven't really seen a lot of it because some of these trends kind of come back around in a different way. The T-strap, sandal, heel, I'm here for it. Jeffrey Can Campbell, I don't know what he's doing lately, but he's really making a comeback. I found a couple of pair. There's a nude pair with a mesh in it. Gorgeous. They look great with like one of those midi length skirts, the fuller ones. I think it looks awesome. I think it would look great with the cropped wide leg jeans. Awesome because this is going to be a showstopper. So you're going to have your plain sweater and pants on the top, and then you're going to put one of these pairs of shoes. Celine made a great pair, obviously. So the the closest one that I found is from Dolce Vita, the Le bon. I mean, these suckers are spot on. They're gorgeous. I would definitely probably pick them up in a red because how cute would that be with an all denim outfit with one of these red shoes? I feel like these type of T-straps just really elevate a basic outfit. And I really don't see a lot of people wearing them. And that is what I really, really like. The Naturalizer makes a great silver and white. Pair. They have a, um, a flat pair of T-type uh, sandals I really like that were really cute. 
the peonies these look exactly like the bleep that was the gucci ones this would look so good with your jeans and also your wide leg crop jeans with the pointy toe looks so awesome uh, a black pair of like work pants like a your chin, well, chino pants are coming back in for sure but these look good because they're pointed they've got the extra little buckles that makes it just a little different and a little chicer and elevated than just a basic red shoe absolutely love that in the burgundy pattern and last but not least in the shoe section is going to be how, do you remember like in 2006 the fry boot you know they were like the, they were called the harness boot anybody remember that and they also had like a riding boot so did sam edelman make the riding boot yeah those are all coming back again so they call them equestrian but really I call them fry boots um biker boots is what you're going to see a lot of the buckles on there people are wearing those I'm seeing a lot with dresses, obviously jeans, um, but I'm seeing them more with dresses and then skirts. So what you're doing is taking a very feminine, flouncy, which you would think normally put like a ballet flat or a heel, and you're gonna put something tough and rugged with it, like the moto boot. Um, they have some with a lot of buckles or very slim, Sam Edelman. I did see, I did go to Target because I heard they had a pair and I wanted to look at them. I think they were around under $50. They looked really good. The, the uh, leather feels pretty good. I'm, Amazon, I'm sure we'll have some up soon. But I wouldn't spend a lot of money if you're not really sure if you're going to like that look or not. So also check out Etsy and Poshmark. A lot of people are selling their old harness fry boots. Check those out. The riding boots too are just the knee sleek, very sleek looking boots. I would do that in a some kind of brown tone. Always looks good. Saw a ton of the riding boot coming down the catwalk or whatever you want to call it. The catwalk. So yes, those are going to be really big. Everyone loves in the wintertime boots and their pumpkin lattes. Here we go. But we're going to add a moto boot in with that. Trend number two, jewelry. And I have several sub unders underneath that. So we're fashion, dra fashion draws from the past and nostalgia. So what's making a very come a big comeback is the 80s style earrings, like these little button ones. I found several from Amazon that are really nice. They're just kind of like just... They inspired like the old clip-on. Do you remember the clip-on earrings? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, you're seeing on the runways, very dramatic, very big ones, but here we are, we're making it street ready. We're making them like this. So we're gonna see tons of that. So let's move into necklaces. Delicate chains and pendants worn in layers. It's for a sophisticated touch but it's both casual and formal. So you're gonna see a lot more just daintier thing, daintier type necklaces, pearls. You're gonna see daintier type pearl necklace. Yes, you can layer up your grandmother's pearls. We're elevating those and making them a little bit more daintier. I found a ton on Amazon um, and many other outlets. I will show you a bunch of pictures, but I really like that look. You can take a red top, a red sweater, and then just add these little elements, a couple of chains, a button earring, and a cute bag. And there you go. Voila. You are in style. Very, very easy. You're on trend. Very, very easy with taking everything that you already have in your closet and just brushing it up a little bit. I think just adding just a little bit of accessories can make a break an outfit. And you don't need to wear all the trends in one. Just pick one or two. And there you go. That's how you make a great outfit. Next thing, bangles and cuffs. We're seeing big bangles and big cuffs. J. Crew has been sporting this for the last year. They have, we're doing mixed metals. They would show a big silver and a big gold one. We're seeing tons of that. We're also seeing them in cream and more of um, brown tones or wood tones. We're seeing a lot of that. We're also seeing the big cuffs over the long. So you would do a long shirt like this and put a big gold cuff on here. I love that look. It's, you know, it kind of elevates. It just looks like a stylist. Put your outfit together without having a stylist. Tons of Amazons or cuffs are out there. Um, I also will put a bunch of other links of cuffs and how to wear them, but I think that is double cuffs. 
cuffs are going to be everywhere and then you won't have to wear so much jewelry i would do one one big cuff or the two on one side i wouldn't wear a ton of jewelry just kind of pare everything else down because you want the bold statement to be your big cuffs i love i'm, I'm here for it. i'm totally here for the big cuffs. so trends for the hair hair is going to be you know we always for the last couple of seasons we had the tight ponytail slick back and that was the look right now we're having an effortless very simple very easy out of the shower relaxed hairdos and what they're doing is adding a metal hair tie i love these i haven't seen these you know there was always like these weird little ones before but these they look like jewelry and they're jewelry for your hair so we're not wanting the hair to be overdone. We want the hair to be relaxed and we want the new metal hair tie to be the piece, the piece of artwork that needs to be shown off. So look for that. And some of these trends that I'm showing you as far as jewelry and stuff like that is very inexpensive. And you can just jazz up any outfit with some simple jewelry accessories. Big roomy bags are in. Yes, big slouchy bags are in. So I found the new it bag and it's under $500. Yes, $500. And y'all know the brand coach. Yeah, they're coming back. They're making a big splash this winter. And the bag is called the Brooklyn shoulder 30. Is it a 39? I, they also have a 28. They have a brown, a maroon, and I think another color. I think they came in a cream or something under $500 full leather. It's very nice. Anthropology has a ton of bucket bags that are oversized. J. Crew has some great ones. Amazon, always check there. Bucket bags are going to be big. Let's move into the large scale type luggage bags. Last year was everything was about the Margot Row bag. Okay, this is not it. This is an Amazon version because I wanted to see if I like this. What I found out is I don't like a top handle like this and it's full of stuff and you're walking around. I still like this and use this more as a travel bag, like in the car when I'm traveling, but I realize I'm more of a shoulder bag, like a tote bag. So the big thing this year is suede, suede everything. So I found some several suede bags that I really like. They're gonna have metal studs on maybe the strap of it or down the side, you're gonna see studs a lot everywhere. It's kind of a oversized structured design, leather suede bags are gonna be in. So you're gonna see all suede or all leather is going to be huge. So that is gonna be a huge bag trend. Datement belts are getting bolder and oversized and they are making a huge comeback. It's making the focal point your waist or your focal point your outfit. And so you're seeing Zara, y'all gotta check out Zara. So you're seeing oversized belts with a lot of studs. You're seeing the thinner ones that kind of can cinch in with the long linear tassels hanging down. Um, they kind of just obviously elevate an outfit over blazers. You're seeing a lot of belts around blazers to cinch in the waist. Belts are going over pants, not necessarily in the belt loops anymore. They're kind of going over them. Belts are making a big comeback. I will share some of my favorites that I've been really eyeing that I'm really liking. So scarves, yes, scarves are making a huge strong return not even huge a strong return they're both practical and bold fashion and they're coming in like cashmere and silk and yes i've got this off amazon it's in uh, mulberry silk but you're gonna see it styled like this yes and you're gonna have you're gonna have the scarf little like a little ring and you're gonna see it like this styled a lot in the hair around ponytails i'm 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 going to tell you i'm here for the scarf i think it jazzes up any little outfit or you can wrap it around your bags i mean i'm just like i'm starting to get on the trend of scarves i really like them the last but not least you know it's so sunny in the winter right so what's making a comeback are big oversized wayfair think tom ford i mean he's the one that really started this the big oversized. Now these are Ray-Bans. Now these are the thinner ones, but I'm talking bigger oversized. Cat eyes still hanging on really strong, but the big thing is these oversized. Bigger, the better with these. Amazon's got it 
quite a few pair out there if you want to try that trend before you actually um, invest in another pair. Also, the lenses colored like blue and yellow and green, the color lenses are going to be huge. The way they make a big sunglass too. I mean, they're like big. I saw Veronica Beard at one of her um, like photo shoots and they were interviewing her and she had her hair pulled back in a bun and she had these big oversized black, I think they were Tom Ford of sunglasses. And then she had a barn jacket. Yes, that is going to be trending big. And it, she just had a pair of blue jeans and a white shirt. And it looked so good and made me want to get a pair of big ones. So I'm going to try out a couple of Amazon pairs. I'm also thinking about if they look good and I like them, I'm going to invest in some, maybe a Tom Ford. I'm going to look um, even on Etsy and stuff like that for Tom Ford or a Posh, Poshmark, because I know they're all out there that are old and vintage. I really want a pair of those, so be on the lookout for that. Also, sport glasses. Do you remember the Oakley sports glasses like this? Yes, those are trending. I saw a bunch of pair on H&M that were great. That If you play pickleball outside or your kids have some kind of outside sport, they look really cool with all your um, workout athletic gear. I think those look really cool. And kind of, I saw also seeing a lot of people wear oversized of these too with their athletic gear, but something about, they have a Prada pair that looked really cool. Saw a girl at pickleball wear, looked really, really chic. I really like those. So the days of Oakley's, I probably should go through my husband's pair. He had a bunch of Oakley's that I never liked. I never understood why they went all the way over here, but that's what's trending. So those are the fall trends of 2024 for shoes, accessories, and belts and bags. Let me know your trend that you might be trying out and make sure to subscribe and like. And I don't know what else to say. I've been here for a long time. <laughs> Bye.